So let's talk about AMD because I did promise to give you an answer to a very important question. Is this too late to buy Nvidia following a spike like this? Now, as of the making of this video, the stock is up almost 40%. By the time this video comes out, it may be 80 or eight, who cares? Let's look at AMD from a fundamental perspective. And there's no better way to do that than stock MVP, stock-mvp.com, a software I built specifically for this to analyze stocks, break it down to the bare fundamentals and see if it's shit or legit. Now, in the case of AMD, we have a score of 85 out of 100 on our MVP scorecard, which is one of the best scores we ever had on the platform. And if you actually look a little bit deeper, the crazy part about this is that it actually missed one of the parameters by just a fraction, by just a hair. It should have had a 90 out of 100. What am I talking about? Well, on the scorecard, they missed 10 points because they have a PE of about 30. Ford PE is actually 32. And the thing is, revenue and net income are both something we look at. And for this company to have a margin of 10% would have given them a perfect score. And here they had 9.57 instead of 10%, which means they lost five points. So, Andy literally lost five points by a fraction of a hair.